What's up, guys? Welcome back to CypNAS tutorial from Frendis. Today we're going to find out how Nest feature works. Nest is composed of two types. They are Auto Nest and Manual Nest. Accordingly, I'll split today's content into two parts. First, the Auto Nest includes Nest interface and its parameter setting. The second leads to Manual Nest operations. There will be steps we do co-edge line array, as well as some little nesting tricks for you. All right, firstly, auto nest. Let's enter the nest interface. We can see there's a select parts with two options down below. We can directly select all parts in list by a click, or just some of them which requires us to select, select the parts in the parts list first, like this. Now we can select the second option. Also, we could choose to nest the parts in the current result or in all results. Down below, we have all the sheets displayed with their quantities. On the right side is where to set nest parameters. We've got nest direction, rotate degrees, and nest strategy. The slider's two poles represent nest speed and utilization. As what they sound like, when slider goes to the right, CypNest will provide you a solution with best efficiency, while the opposite provides you a solution within shortest time. View hole first means that nesting small figures inside other ones will be preferred when there is rest room. In this co-edge module, we've got two modes. The option all means as long as the two lines longer than or equal to minimum co-edge line length, they will get stuck to each other. Or if we want to co-age certain parts, there's a maximum co-age number limit, meaning the number of co-age parts in nest strategy must be less than or equal to the number we input. Requires your attention. Besides, there's an only two same parts. Say we need to nest three of these parts. And we get the option selected. So only lines of the same length and of the same shapes will be co-aged. At the corner of this interface, decide whether to clear nested results or not. The nest would proceed on the basis of the previous result if we uncheck the box. Otherwise, it will start all over again. In the drop-down menu, we have this region nest, meaning once it is enabled, parts will only get nested in custom region. Most of these parameter setting have been introduced in the last interface, so without further ado, now I'll just show you how they work. Here we select all parts. Also, we can randomly pick up some parts in the list if we need. Then confirm by start nest and we drag out a certain region. Let go of the mouth. Let go of the mouse and click once again. The parts will start get nested in this rectangle and this is the result. As for the three options here, 
we have renest current, fill up the current, and adjust the results, mean exactly what they say. For example, we are nesting parts, first of all. We need to renest them. Click the icon, and you'll say, and you'll see two options of nest, renest all, or only selected. For now, we only have one sheet, so the first one isn't lighting up. Then, as we can see here, there's there's still some room left, and we want to fulfill them with, say, we can set the number of this part up to 15, and select it. Click the icon. And it is the, the room is filled. Some small figures like this small square are nested in these circles. To ensure a good performance, we usually center them using this adjustment feature. Adjust the results. See, now it is centered. Above all are the auto nest parts. 